Hi, this is John and welcome back to my channel. So how do you grow by doing less in the gym? Do I mean less weight or less sets or less workout days per week? Hmm. Well, let's go over a few of them really quick. Do I mean less weight? Not really, not really. Uh, there's some techniques that do involve using less weight but I'm not talking about that right now. I am speaking about doing less volume overall, which means less sets, yes, in the gym, and then less days per week, perhaps, depends on how many days you're training, or less days per month. It's better to think in terms of the month rather than the week. So how do we go about doing that? Let's assume for the moment that you're doing a more traditional type workout program, which would be, you know, three to six days per week, three to five exercises per body part, three to five sets per exercise. Sound familiar? If in fact you're doing something like that and you're curious how you're going to go about doing less and growing more from it, it doesn't make sense in a way. You're used to doing a certain amount of work in the gym, right? So. The way to go about doing it is this. Give me twice the effort the next time you're in the gym on your very first exercise, doesn't matter what the body part is, but twice the effort. After you're done warming up, go ahead and unleash with everything you have to failure with the weight you normally use. And I would really take a good guess in saying that if you're used to using a certain weight for I don't know, eight to 12 repetitions on that first given exercise. And I tell you, instead of planning on doing your usual three to five sets, just unleash right now with one set as best as you can, with the best all out effort that you can. I would guess that you probably could do more like 15 repetitions or more with that same weight that you were getting eight to 12 with before. Now, why is that? It's because in your brain, you do know you don't have to hold back. In your brain, you know you're not going to be doing three more sets of that exercise after we go all out right now. I'm just saying, give me an all out effort with twice your effort that you would give, which means you're using more intensity, a higher intensity. If in fact you do that, and I say to you, plan on doing half as many sets as you normally would do. So give twice the effort, half the sets, right? Twice the effort, half the sets. I can guarantee you that those muscles are going to feel it. Your intensity will be much, much higher. You may not make it through your usual workout, which if you plan on doing, you know, four exercises that day for your chest, you may only make it through two of those exercises, depending on the kind of intensity you put out. Uh, those muscles may in fact just be done. And you know when they're done, the contractions are no longer there and the muscle is exhausted. If you hit it with twice the effort, twice the intensity and half the sets, what you've done is you've used less reserve energy and you've given your body the chance, you've dug a, not as quite a deep of a hole in your system. You have to recover and then grow. I've said it in other videos, recovery precedes growth. In order to grow, you have to recover from your workout first. But if you've stimulated that muscle with a greater intensity of effort, you've sent a stronger signal to the muscle. That's the bottom line. By sending a stronger signal to the muscle, that means you're not holding back, planning on doing multiple sets beyond those lower intensity initial sets. So let's just plan that the next time you head to the gym. Attempt to give a much greater effort, an all out effort, after you've warmed up, to do your best and the best performance with that weight, your normal weight that you would use. And again, I'm going to guess and say you're going to do more repetitions than normal, which is fine. So some of you may know that I've been influenced. I was trained by Mike Menser, 
He was a former Mr. America, Mr. Universe back in the 70s, and he trained me in the 90s, and he was known as a high-intensity trainer. He started a program called Heavy Duty, and that program that Mike taught and his teachings in general influenced me greatly. And, you know, I've had some people say to me things like, you know, I'm in and out of the gym in, in under 30 or 40 minutes. That's including warm-ups. And I've had people say to me, so you're just doing that workout to maintain yourself, right? And it, not quite. The answer that I give to them is really, uh, I've been training like this for at least the last 25 years straight. And prior to that, I took a couple of years to do more of a traditional type of a workout just to see how it worked. And it, it wasn't very successful. And then prior to that, when I first started lifting weights, as a teenager, my first workouts were heavy duty workouts. They were Mike Menser's original training courses that he sold. I bought them, I did the exact workouts and I gained muscle training that way. So for me, it was important. And still to this day, the principles that he taught influenced my training to this day. And one of the things that's very key is that you keep very high intensity levels with your weight training. If you do, you will end up training with a greater intensity, sending a greater signal to those muscles, and by doing less work overall, you're giving your body, your system a chance to recover and grow from it. So you still have to end up in a certain repetition range, let's say, for your upper body, for your lower body, that is well known to stimulate growth. The majority of the people still are, you know, respond well to an eight to 12 repetition range or a six to 10 on their upper bodies. Uh, on their legs, it's either 12 to 15 or 10, uh, 12 to 20, somewhere in that range for legs. So if you stay in those ranges with the repetitions and reach failure, you're gonna end up having a much greater result than you do right now with your higher volume routine. So it's just some food for thought. I uh, thought I'd share that one with you. I, uh, I give the answer uh, pretty regularly to people in the gym who ask me about my short workouts. And I usually point out that they're pretty intense. Uh, and yeah, they're short. And I'm in, I'm out of the gym. And you, you know, they joke around with me a little bit saying they're just still warming up. And I'm walking out the gym. <laughs> and we start at the same time. So that's happened before as well. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart, uh, get in that gym, get after it, give twice the effort, do half the sets, and see what kind of results you get. That's it. Thank you very much.